What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks? Man, man, the influx of messages that I received yesterday over this Nike stuff. Stuff will never be the same, y'all. And I honestly feel like y'all don't see it just yet. Me been doing this for as long as I've been doing it. Nothing seems the same. But before we even get into that, man, make sure y'all smash that like button right now. And make sure you also hit that subscribe button so you miss no videos, none, zero, zilch. Hit that notification bell as well. If you haven't been receiving the notifications, hit the notification bell, turn it off, and then hit it back to turn it back on. That way you can refresh everything that's been going on. Now, before we get too far, Army, these are the new Unbreakable Kick Satin Jackets, man. And these joints came out phenomenal. Quality on these joints are A1. I do got the regular black jackets right here. Only did 60 black jackets. And here is the red friends and family. Only did 40 of these. So again, make sure you hit your boy up. If you do want to purchase, DM me on Instagram or email me at unbreakablekicks at yahoo.com to grab your Unbreakable Kicks satin jacket. So Nike emailed a retailer yesterday, basically canceling all of holiday 2021, spring 2022, and summer 2022 orders. Now, for those who didn't read the email, it says this. Dear partner, COVID-19 continues to impact the global supply chain and create transportation disturbance. As a result of this dynamic and unprecedented situation, we regret to inform you that Nike Futures order in spring 2022, summer 22, and the balance of the holiday 2021 will be canceled. This means any holiday 2021 orders that have not yet shipped will not be fulfilled, nor will any orders for spring 2022 and summer 2022. In addition, due to these same supply chain challenges, Nike will not offer at once orders until further notice. Now, some of this jargon I don't understand like at once orders because there's probably some Nike contract type jargon that Again, I just don't understand. We understand that this decision is difficult information to hear. Our goal is to resume supply as soon as possible, and we will commit to communicating transparent and timely updates about future seasons. Please contact your Nike market partners, blah, blah, blah. So basically, this one retailer, now, a lot of people I feel like has been hyping it up like, ah! Ah, ah, you know, going crazy. Like, <laughs> what is going on? So, from what I'm hearing, man, this seems to be one store that received this email. Now, I can see a Foot Locker received this, Finish Line received this, JD Sport, Jimmy Jazz, DTLR. I feel like a lot of people is kind of blowing this out of proportion. Now, I feel like this is just one store. I feel like this is maybe like a mom and pop shop, but we already knew. Remember what? 2019, 2020, Nike said that they were about to start cutting relationships with a lot of these mom and pop shops. And I hate to use COVID as an excuse, but this could be one of those moves that Nike would be like, well, we was going to do this anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because again, we heard that Nike was going to start cutting relationships, start cutting ties with a lot of stores that wasn't performing at a high rate. Could be a lot of reasons that this store got hit with this particular information, you know, but also, we do know that it's a lot of delays that's been going on with COVID. COVID has hurt a lot of businesses. But the crazy thing is, a lot of businesses have gone through the roof as far as productivity because of COVID. Like, look at all these stores that were literally selling out of Jordans. At one point, you could not find a retro sitting on a shelf. As of recent, you know, with the moonlight fives or the oreo fives whatever you want to call them or you know the obsidian 13s them shadow backboard fives the pollens the lightning fours like a lot of these joints are still sitting on shelves during the peak season of covid and a little bit after you couldn't find a retro sitting so again i don't feel like this is one of those messages where you know every store is going to be impacted Nike is not about to cancel their relationship with Foot Locker. They're not about to cancel their relationship with Finish Line, JD Sport. These are Nike's foot soldiers. Like, they help carry the brand. But also another thing that I've been noticing is that look at the stock. And that's weird. Think about this, y'all. Look at the stock numbers that we have been getting with sneakers as of late. 
80,000, 60,000, 100,000. We've been getting a tremendous amount of quantity on sneakers now. It was at one point on sneakers at where it was a match of like 7,000 pairs of a retro. Now we back to the point where a lot of people are taking W, so I just find it weird. Nike's timing is very, very weird. Nike has been canceling a lot of people's orders <laughs> on the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays, right? This shoe right here, in particular, the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays. It's a decent amount of members of the Army who has hit me up and said, break. My orders have been getting canceled for the Cool Grays. My stuff hasn't shipped out yet, all right? And then Nike hits them up and be like, you know, it's a delay, we're gonna cancel your order. So how can y'all shop drop a shoe on last Monday, right? Today's only Wednesday. Last Monday, y'all shop drop a shoe. Three days later, y'all cancel a lot of people's orders. And then four days later, y'all do exclusive access on the same shoe that y'all just canceled. How is that possible? How is it possible to cancel people's orders on a Friday and then on a Tuesday, y'all do exclusive access, not even three, four business days later, y'all do exclusive access on the shoe that y'all just canceled. If I was one of those people who got my cool grades canceled on a Friday or a Saturday, and then come Tuesday, y'all giving out exclusive access on a shoe of mine that y'all just canceled, I would be hot. Then again, like, it's not making sense how the numbers on sneakers app is starting to go up as far as quantity, but y'all out here canceling people's orders all the way up into spring. I don't get it. It don't make sense. I feel like it should be the reverse. If numbers are low on sneakers app, hey, look, our numbers are low. You know, we got to make sure that we at least got amount of shoes that, you know, for us to sell. But then I can understand why y'all canceling orders and stuff like that. But if y'all numbers is higher than it's ever been for, what, maybe a year and a half, and now y'all starting to cancel people, y'all could have gave these stores some of them early pairs of cool grays. Y'all had 100,000 pairs. Like, I ain't getting it. These numbers just not adding up. So how do y'all feel about this? I don't think, again, it's going to be like the massive foot lockers and finish lines and champs and things like that. I don't think that they're going to even feel this. I think it's going to be, again, some of these tier two stores that, you know, get something like the six rings and make it like a size run or two or like some retros or something like that. I think those are going to be the ones that's affected. Nike's going to start at the bottom. They're not going to start at the top and cut people's product from the top. They're gonna start at the bottom. Again, a couple years ago, there was a rumor going around that Nike was looking to cut out a lot of these middlemen. Nike no longer need all these stores to help sell their product. If Nike was to pull all of their product out of these stores and put them online on Sneakers app or Nike.com, it will still sell out. It will still sell out. Nike doesn't need the help of a Foot Locker to sell an Air Jordan. They can do all this stuff on their own. So again, I feel like this is just another one of them steps for them to continue to cut out, you know, the mom and pop shops or, you know, all the middleman stores that they got contracts with. They don't need it no more. They can cut out a lot of these stores that are paying Nike wholesale price. Nike can keep that and just put it on sneakers app and make the full price. That's what I'm looking at from it. I'm looking more on the business aspect move other than, you know, Nike just trying to take shoes out of these people's stores. I'm looking more on the business because you got to remember, Nike is a billion dollar business. One of their main goals is to make sure that they continue to make money every year. All right. Now, with all of this cancellation news, I mentioned this before and I didn't really want to speak much on it because... You know, I don't have much proof to say that it is going to happen. I feel like it's 50-50 right now. This is literally 50-50 right now how I'm feeling. But again, as times have shown, when situations like this happen, we get a cancellation. For instance, the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navy. All we saw was grade school shoes. And I've mentioned this on live not too long ago. And I feel like I've mentioned this in a video as well. Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navies. We only seen in hand grade school images, right? We ain't seen no men pairs in hand. Nike wind up pushing the release date back. These Air Jordan 1 patent leather breads, as of right now, all I have seen were in hand grade school pairs. Now, I did hit up Z Sneakerhead yesterday to ask him has he heard any news about the pushback or potential pushback on the Air Jordan 1 patent leathers? He said, nah. 
So I'm just like, well, if he ain't heard nothing, it ain't going to happen. But a member of the army hit me up this morning. One of the same members of the army who been keeping me posted about information over there in Japan. He said, look for the patent breads to be pushed back. Asia was originally 1230. He said it's changed to 115. Now, I want to say we're supposed to be getting a release on the 15th of January already. Uh, what is it? Either the Marinas or it could be the Red Thunders. One of the two is supposed to be dropping on the 15th of January. And now he said in Asia, they already postponed the date. And again, we have yet, at least I have yet to see a men's pair from like a Foot Locker, a finish line, a champ. If you work for one of them stores, don't, don't say the store. Don't say the store number. Don't say the store location. But if you work for one of these stores and y'all have y'all men patent leather bread ones in, let me know. So that way I can be like, okay, well, stores are starting to get their men pairs in. But as of right now, I haven't heard of any store that had a men pairs in right now. And it's getting scary because, again, we didn't see any men pairs of the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navies. And them joints got pushed back to March. All I've seen so far was in-hand grade school from stores. Now, we still got time because they're not supposed to drop to the 30th. So that's still over a month. But if any store see them on a manifest, any store see them in a shipping, just let me know. DM me on IG or comment down below. Just let us know so we can look forward to it because we already got the cool grades. Now, now that the cool grades is out the way, the Air Jordan 1 patent leather is the last shoe that's like really on my list for 2021. I think it's a potential that those joints may get pushed back. And again, for my mans in Japan, and they actually had dropped them early in Japan. They did um, they did exclusive access November 14th. Now they're saying that they're being pushed back to the 15th. It's not crazy for Nike to still do something and then these companies do a completely different thing. Just because Nike did exclusive access on them already does not mean that, you know, the day will not potentially get pushed back some more. So, ah, man, everything is in Nike's hands. Everything is in Nike's hands, but I definitely feel like it's 50-50 right now for them patent leather breads. With that being said, Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about this message from Nike yesterday. If y'all reading something different than what I'm reading, let me know. But again, I just feel like it's only like certain stores that receive this. But our bigger stores probably won't be affected by this. But only time will tell. You know, this is Nike. This ain't unbreakable. You know, this is Nike stuff. I have no hand in any of this. All I'm doing is seeing it and just trying to break down from what I understand from it. And also let me know if y'all heard anything about the Air Jordan 1 patent leather breads potentially being pushed back as well, y'all. This is crazy. This is crazy. And like I said, things will never be the same. Again, you can't even walk into a store and just buy a shoe now. Either you gotta have a raffle, you gotta have a reservation, or something. Like, it's going to get worse. I hate to say it, but eventually I don't see us walking into stores and buying shoes no more. I feel like everything is gonna be online like Amazon. And that's scary. Times are changing, man. I hope y'all prepare for it, and I hope y'all can adapt to the change, Army. Again, I love you guys. Make sure you stand strong like always. And importantly, man, make sure you hug your loved ones. And of course, you gotta remain humble. And we out.